So here we go. <clears throat> Part five. Not with the fizzle, but with a bang. Today, we had yet another one of our ridiculous pep rallies. Todd convinced the band to play the sexiest song in their repertoire. I needed to pique everyone's interest enough to get them to go home and log on. I had one outfit left, and I figured about 30 seconds to do it. Plus, I really wanted my own awesome musical number, for no apparent reason. Is that Polly? I don't want to lose you, www.freeolive.com tonight at 6 p.m. And I know it interferes with the basketball game, but come on, would you rather be here cheering on the woodchucks or watch me do one? What do you think you're doing, young lady? Get to my office right now. You know, I can't, I can't, because I have a date with the guy I like and the rest of the school, but I think that before you expel me, you might want to talk to Mrs. Griffith, because I think she might talk you into letting me stay. Go for it, Here you all are, waiting outside the bedroom door for me to kiss Todd, listening to me pretend to have sex with Brandon, paying me to lie for you, and calling me every name in the book. Hey, you know what? It was just like Hester in The Scarlet Letter, except that's the one thing the movies don't tell you. How shitty it feels to be an outcast, warranted or not. 